Afternoon, troopers. Uh, today, we took the, the go-kart out, towed it out with the tractor because it had a flat tire and I didn't feel like getting it started back in there. And I parked a Spitfire for the winter, mostly undercover, so I try to keep some of the snow off from it. And uh, since we've only had one person guess what I'm working on, and they didn't guess right yet, but they had some good ideas, I've got some more pieces. As we know, we got the go-kart. And we have a bathtub, which was a correct guess. It is a bathtub. And now, I'm going to show you these pieces. I don't know if I'm going to use all the valves, but I dug them out because they're with some of the pool parts that I have, and they're um, extra leftover parts. And an old pump that the motor's no good on. So, have any ideas what we're making yet? We've got a bathtub, a pump, some valves, and a go-kart? Hmm. It was suggested that I was going to put the bathtub on the frame so it looked like you were driving, riding in the bathtub, and that's actually a pretty funny idea. But no, that's not what I'm going to do with it. Um, I think it would be too hard to work the pedals and stuff down in the tub and the gear shift and everything so and I don't want to cut a big hole in the bottom of the tub or anything like that because I do plan on using this eventually for a um, large large parts washer I want to weld a like a refrigerator rack across one end for smaller pieces and put a recirculating pump in there with some uh, Agitine or something, parts, some kind of parts cleaner. I prefer the solvent based, it seems to work better, and the water based stuff is kind of crap. But uh, that Agitine stuff works really good. Let's see if I can get a, you know, 10 gallons of that or so and put that in there. And then when I want to clean up an engine or something, instead of using gasoline and a toothbrush, which makes a terrible mess of everything, I can set the block right down in there and use parts cleaner. That's the idea anyway. Weld a couple good solid legs under there under the four corners or build a wooden frame or something to hold it so it's about waist height so you're not bending right over <clears throat> and rig it up that way always this ground a, a guy was redoing his bathroom and he gave me this tub and I've had it for shoot seven eight years six years maybe seven years something like that but I'll use it someday but for now it's going to be part of our redneck project so anyway I'm going to get started um, some things I got to take off from here, maneuver, remove and put into a different spot to uh, accomplish what I want to do here. So take another guess and we'll see as the day progresses. As long as the weather holds out, sun's trying to poke through. It is pretty cloudy off towards the north though. They said possibility of rain, but we'll see. Sun's out now, so I'm going to keep moving. So uh, yeah. I'm going to get moving, so talk to you later. Well, we're making progress here. Um, put some 3 inch channel in the frame. Extended it out about, uh, oh, I don't know, 10 inches or so. Got a brace underneath this side, holding that foot. I don't know if you can see up in there. Holding that foot of this end of the tub. And then we're resting on the frame here. I tack welded it on. Cast doesn't weld, weld real well without nickel rod, but it'll hold for a while anyway. And then this side is actually lower the way the tub is cast so that it'll drain. So I just put a small block there to hold this end up. But I'm going to have to cut this bolt off, but maybe the drain will fit in there. Um, I don't know where I'm going to put my redneck gas tank. Probably down in there under the seat somewhere. Um, I had to take the exhaust off. And uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. But it's actually the last time I run it. It's actually broken off up here. This bottom pipe is broken off from the plate. And I tried to get it loose this today with my impact, but I can't really get on there good. And I couldn't get, I couldn't break those three bolts loose to get that out of there to weld it. So then I was going to take the manifold off and turn it upside down, but it's not symmetrical, so I can't do that. 
So anyway, that's where that's at. But the tub is mounted on the back of it. It's a little bit farther to the left. I realize that. People are going to bitch, oh, it's not in the center. It's that way on purpose. Because in other words, that hole would be right over the frame if it was in the center. And that'll never do. So it had to be shifted this way a little bit so that I got clearance for this, this drain hole. So there's that. It makes the suspension work anyway. That's, that's a heavy tub. Being cast iron like that, but anyway, we'll be moving on. Any guesses yet? Remember those parts there. There's exhaust I took off. Custom made, two and a half inch. It's nice. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Well, we've got the pump all taken apart. Um, the propeller, the impeller just threads onto the end of the shaft and uh, back that off. I've split the housing and pulled the um, the windings out since the motor was no good anyway. Uh, what I plan to do is get the shaft here out from the middle of here or pry these out or whatever and get this shaft clean. I don't want the, the, uh, the center part of the motor on there anymore. Then I'm going to re-weld re this together um, and I want to cut a slot out of, probably this center part right here would be the easiest, cut a slot out of here and mount a pulley on here so that I can run the belt out through the center of here and I'll still have my two bearings on the, the pump shaft because the pump itself has no bearings in it. <clears throat> That way the pump will all go back together and I'll be able to belt drive the pump. So, that's the plan. I have to quit for today. It's about 3.30 and I got plans this afternoon. So, um, I will check back with you guys probably sometime next week. So, can anybody guess what we're building yet? We've got a bathtub mounted on the back of a go-kart. I had to be very careful that the drain wasn't blocked because I need to hook that up. And I'm making a pump belt drive. Any ideas yet? Anyway, I'll uh, see you guys again sometime next week. Thanks for watching.